This show was actually premiering when I was a kid. So, uh, there's that. Um, you know, kid wants a job. He goes to sign up for a job. Um, the job actually ends up being for Captain Man. And um, now he's Captain Man's sidekick. And he takes an oath and everything. And he fights a villain called the Toddler. So far in season one, I will mention this. Um, it will change in the later seasons, but there is no reoccurring villains yet. Every time we see a villain that, um, is reoccurring later in the series, they only appear once in this season. So, you know, they take down the toddler, whatever. Good first episode. Second episode, just a typical thing. He struggles to fit in his new life, new school schedule, blah, blah, blah. Um, third episode, Charlotte finds out his secret, he gets fired, and then he gets rehired, and Charlotte joins the team, and now she will be a reoccurring character with the Captain Man crew. Um, not much to say about these episodes yet. So, the fourth episode, Captain Man loses his indestructibility, and he gets it back. Pretty simple plot, you know, he ends up getting it back. And those characters end up being in the very first episode of season one. Because I... Um, not season one. Season two. Um, so they are reoccurring villains. Just not yet. But those characters show up in the second season. In the very first episode. And here they are in episode four. So that's pretty good for them. Um, fifth episode. Not much to say about it. Um, they think... This kid's a bad guy. It turns out he's not. So they kind of fucked up. Next episode. Jasper lies about being kid danger. And a stupid criminal named Jeff actually thinks it is kid danger and kidnaps him. Um, Captain Man ends up saving the day. Pretty simple story. Funny at times. Um, not much to it. Once again, it is a kid show. Next episode, Space Rock, Alien, gets in Henry's backpack, and there ends up, Captain Man ends up, like, shooting it off its, um, Piper's face. There, there really isn't much to say about this episode. The next episode, um, has a cameo from Nathan, who plays Freddy and iCarly. Um, it's a quick cameo, it's pretty funny. Um, they're interviewing all these people they think may be suspects for hurting this girl from a party from one year ago. And, um, they literally just get Nathan to make a little brief cameo. And they start interviewing him. And he's like, I wasn't even there. And are these guys even British or something like that? It's a pretty brief, funny cameo. Cool to see him still getting work in Nickelodeon. Next episode, there's this guy that gets his animal kidnapped by a gym teacher. Um, so now he's forced to play in the basketball team. So he lies about his age, saying he's 14 when he is not 14. And then Captain Man ends up saving his animal. You know, he's played by a famous basketball player, so there's that. But I don't really watch basketball. Um, so there's that. <laughs> Henry accidentally ends up turning on this machine and becoming a man beast. And his crush Chloe is now obviously weirded out by him because he's acting weird. But it ends up all okay in the end. Really isn't much to it. Next episode, we meet Captain Man. Um, a Captain Man character named Invisible Brad. I loved this episode as a kid and I still love this episode. Um, he's this character that Captain Man accidentally turned invisible. Apparently, he's never tried to fix that. I guess he doesn't like Brad as much because every time, you know, obviously they're the main characters. You gotta fix the problems for the show to work. But it's still pretty funny. Like, you know, all these things, um, you know, they try and fix with Jasper and Piper and Henry and Swash and all this stuff. But with Invisible Brad, they're just like, nah, let's leave him invisible. And Captain Man tries to defend it because, like, he bought him no surgery or some shit like that. 
The next one is a villain called the Spoiler who spoils stuff. Um, which, yeah, is kind of shitty, but he's not really committing any crimes. So I don't know how they were able to call him a villain. Um, but still a pretty funny episode, cool episode. He spoils an episode. They had their phones on and checked it during the, the show they were watching. Who does that? Who does that? If I'm watching a show, I don't look at my phone unless someone's calling me. But they check their phone because they get text. And, of course, it's a spoiler, so their favorite show is ruined. So, you know, then they later take them down. Um, next episode is about a volcano. Um, now he has this new love interest called Bionica. They excuse it by, um, saying that Chloe has, like, a reality show or something. So she's not going to be around for a while. I don't know how that's a good excuse. I guess him and Chloe weren't technically dating. Still pretty shitty. And it's Charlotte who says it. She's usually the rational character. I don't get it. Of course, the world doesn't actually end up ending. So, you know, a lot of stuff, a lot of sh basic shenanigans. He does stuff that he doesn't think is going to harm him. Because, you know, he won't be here in a few days. But it ends up false alarm. Pretty typical thing. The next episode, um, Henry takes an android on a date. Android goes wrong. Blah, blah, blah. Don't care about that episode, really. Wasn't boring, but... Typical kid show shit. I accidentally missed episode 13 because there really isn't much to say about it. Um, game show contestants keep getting their stuff stolen. Turns out it's some bratty rich kids that aren't getting enough attention. So they think it's okay to steal. It's pretty generic. The next episode is the one year anniversary of Captain Man being indestructible. So he's grumpy and mean to people. But they decide that they're going to help him relive his childhood. But the plans get ruined because Jasper is a dumbass. Um, not really surprising. It's Jasper. Um, they get the stuff done, though. They still are able to do most of it. Um, the next episode, Henry gets kissed by Bionica when he's Kid Danger. And he gets pissed because, obviously, it was technically cheating because she didn't know that because she doesn't know henry is kid danger charlotte does have to point that out to him though um but he ends up forgiving her because they do the, like the basically the cheating excuse the cheating excuse when your partner cheats on you and it's like it's it's basically a cliche because of fucking how often it's used in movies and how often it's used in real life um she says, I made a mistake. Wow. And he just forgives her. It's kind of ridiculous. But it's a kid show. I'm not really invested in this romance drama. Still pretty stupid. Oh, and I did want to mention the birthday episode. Um, it's like the only thing I actually can criticize. I get it. It's a kid show. It's going to have, you know, some stuff that doesn't make sense. Or, you know, they're going to overlook some, overlook some stuff, but it's really stupid. Nobody knows where the man cave is. It's secret. Junk and, junk and stuff is like a cover. Nobody knows that's where the man cave is. Nobody knows. He gets sent an invitation to junk and stuff, and then the invitation gets sent down to the man cave. You just broke your own rules. Henry's mom gets some of her stuff stolen, so now Captain Man stays at his house because Captain Man has a crush on Henry's mom. I don't care for this episode. Really don't. Um, it's first episode, I'll say that. It's a kid show. You know, I'm not going to have much stuff to talk about in my reviews for it, but I still want to review it. Um, but honestly, for this episode, it's there's just nothing. I don't care about it. There's nothing to talk about. Henry gets trapped in a dream. This is probably one of the most iconic episodes. It has a lot of the popular memes, like the Kim and Kanye one. Um, it's a it's a decent episode. I liked it. Next episode, Henry gets grounded 
but not really. Like, he still has his phone. He's still allowed to have his friends over and everything. He's just not allowed to go to work or hang out at their house, which he never really does anyway. So this is like the most tame grounding I've ever seen. He still has his phone. That's like one of the biggest things in grounding. But yeah, he can't go to work and make money. That's why, that's how he's grounded. He decides to say something sexist to Charlotte and say that she couldn't do his job because she's a girl. So she tries to prove she can. She can, but she doesn't like it. So I guess Henry's sexism is okay now. Like, I mean, he somewhat apologizes, but it's stupid. I get it's a kid show, but stupid. Jasper wants to hang out with them more because, um, you know, Charlotte and Henry are his, like, best friends. Um, so they decide they want to tell him that he's kid danger. But Captain Man doesn't want to allow it unless he can keep a secret for a week. He doesn't. Um, but Captain Man kind of cheats by telling him, oh, yeah, they already told me. And then Jasper lets it slip. Oh, they already told you and then says it. Um, so, yeah, not much to the episode. Then there's a two-parter that I could care less about. Henry gets a new suit, which is kind of cool. Um, but as a kid, it definitely left me floored. Um, because I had to wait for the next part to come out. Um... I couldn't believe that Henry fucking pushed Captain Man off the mountain. But I really don't care about the romance at all. It's kind of stupid how betrayed she is. Like, they barely know each other. Next episode, another evil girlfriend episode. Jasper's girlfriend's really jealous and tries to kill Charlotte because Henry says that Jasper loves Charlotte. Obviously, he means as a friend, but she doesn't take it that way. And, you know, she gets kicked out a window. And that is the season finale. Um, pretty good start. Um, there is a episode that I guess I forgot. I didn't see it listed on the episode list. But Captain Man basically gets, like, canceled. Um, I guess is what you'd call it. People don't like him because he smashed a stand. And, um... He ends up bringing people down to the man cave, like, you know, covers their faces or whatever, puts them in bags so they can't see, takes them now down there, and, um, one of them is an actor from Smosh named Shane, which, he was also in Ike Harley, um, for one episode. Pretty funny to see him here. Um, there's also a Lemonade Stand episode where, um... Piper wants to, not eliminate Sand, I already talked about that one. Um, Piper wants to sell her old playhouse, but Jasper wants some of the money, so she ends up lying and saying, oh, now that you fixed it up, I still want it, but ends up selling it anyway. One of the kids in that episode um, plays one of the little kids and stuck in the middle, so that was kind of cool. But that is it for Henry Danger Season 1.